In the same way, if uh, powerful beings exist in a particular place, uh, it's almost, almost as if you get tuned in sometimes to that uh, effect. Uh, when you sit down peacefully, close your eyes and try to meditate, sometimes you can feel a kind of energy in these particular places. Uh, nothing supernatural, it's just the effect of presence of these particular beings. Uh. So these are the kind of things that we can hope to experience on these trips. Uh. So, then, then what? Is that all there is to it? Is that what pilgrimage is all about? Is it all about just, you know, getting some hold of history and getting a feeling for the reality of this and getting some emotional reaction? Is that what it's all about? Uh, no, this is not what it's all about. This is only like the thing that we do uh, when, we have, when we go on the pilgrimage itself. The real significance of going on the pilgrimage is not these reactions or these things that we feel when we go there. The real significance of pilgrimage is how it affects our general spiritual practice, our general spiritual journey. You may, of course, say that to go to India is a spiritual journey in its own right, but of course that's not the real spiritual journey. The real spiritual journey that we're all on is a journey of the heart, the journey of the heart which moves towards peace, tranquility, kindness, goodness, loving kindness, compassion, all these beautiful qualities that we're all trying to develop in our life. That is a real spiritual journey. It's an inner journey which every one of us has to undertake on, on their own. And this is a journey which happens in our daily life, every day, as we try to practice in the correct way, do what is right, avoid doing what is wrong. This is the daily struggles that we go through in practicing our spiritual path. And slowly but surely, it is lifting us up, lifting up our minds, and imbuing ourselves with those qualities as we practice. Uh, 